Good morning, Mount Carmel area, and welcome to MCA Live. I'm Danny Ray Meadow. And I'm Nick Troutman. Here's today's announcements. Today is September 12th, day three. There is a important financial aid night for juniors, seniors, and their parents Thursday at 6 o'clock in the high school auditorium. PHEAA representative Marla Kane will answer all questions about financial aid. Plan to attend this important session. Sign up to join the Tabletop Gaming Club in Mr. Swank's room 302. The new reading club, A Novel Idea, is taking sign-ups for students in grades 10 through 12 in room 109. Their first meeting is Thursday at 2.20. Senior High Chorus will meet Mondays and Fridays during homeroom. All students and staff members must have a current parking pass in the school parking lot. The class of 2019 is taking orders for tornado shirts in the high school office. Orders are due by September 19th, and here's today's news. Thanks, Nick. Happy birthday and cheers to 50 years. The year the Mount Carmel area TV studio, WKMC-TV, turns 50. On September 12, 1968, a portion of a football game between Mount Carmel and Tamaqua High Schools was broadcast over the cable and made history. The broadcast came from a small building on Locust Mountain and was produced thanks to the partnership of innovator and MCA teacher George McPhee and cable company owner Stephen Jepko Sr. After a few successful broadcasts, the studio was moved to a larger seven-room building on Oak Street where students could record, edit, and broadcast in their new home, Jepco's Community Cable. Early on, the studio, as WJPM-TV, included high school students from both Mount Carmel and Our Lady of Lourdes Regional, along with employees from Jepco's company under the instruction of Mr. George McPhee. In the early days, WJPM aired concerts, religious services for shut-ins, interviewed local politicians such as Senator Bob Casey Sr. and Governor Fla Franklin Curry, along with producing original children's programming, visits with Santa and Mr. Weatherby, and other important local events. Since 1968, the studio changed its name, its location, and its structure. After Jepco's Community Cable merged with Service Electric in 1979, the program moved to the new high school with a new student studio designed by George McPhee. George McPhee's son, David McPhee, is now the instructor and the name has been changed to WKMC-TV. The station has remained consistent in educating students in critical technology and artistic skills while producing student-run programming. Through WKMC-TV, students record, edit, and broadcast programs and control them through the through professional standards of video, light, lighting, and sound. The program was the first of its kind in the state and the first high school cable television station in the country. The continued success of the program rests in the hand of the students who run it, with one special student being Joe Bass of Mount Carmel, one of Georgia's original students and later colleague. Other con contributors include the great sports teams and coaching staffs, such as Joe Jazz Dimonick and Frank Pekaitis, along with supportive teachers and community members such as teacher Mr. Joseph Swatsky and community member and parent Carl Froetz. WKMC-TV airs on Channel 13 through Service Electric and features a school-run news program, MCA Live, and airs Wednesday night broadcasts of special interests such as football games, school events, concerts, community events, and information of local interest. WKMC-TV also supports select programming on its two YouTube channels in high definition. George McPhee's legacy lives on in the WJPM WKMC TV studio. And thanks to the program, all the students who put in all their efforts and their artwork made by George throughout his life lives on in the walls of the school, studio, sets, and houses of art lovers across the area, memorializing the late founder, George the Boss McPhee. Happy birthday, WKMC TV. Think Big is selling rubber bla bracelets to support their annual Think Big Dance Marathon. The bracelets are to help spread awareness to as many people as possible around the country, not just Mount Carmel. Think Big helps families who have children with pediatric cancer. You can purchase these bracelets from Miss Niglio in the athletic office for $1. The challenge is to buy and send them to friends and family ac around the country to see just how far the awareness can spread. Those family members and friends may, take, may then take a picture and email it to Think Big at thinkbig.mca at gmail.com and they'll be in a slideshow on their Facebook page. The bracelets come with instructions about the challenge and are safe and are on sale until the dance marathon on Saturday, October 20th. A new shipment is due today, so get them while supplies last. And we'll be right back with Elijah and Sports.
the Mount Carmel area Red Tornadoes girls soccer team welcomed some new changes. First year coaches, Mount Carmel area PE teacher Emily Lloyd and assistant coach Whitney Heiss Wally were former teammates and played back to back in the NCAA tournaments. We spoke to Coach Lloyd about the season. All right, so we have about 22 girls coming out for soccer this year, which is good numbers for a soccer team. Um, good workouts throughout the preseason. A bunch of teachers were saying they were interested how the girls were getting a lot of cardio and really building up our stamina for the start of the season. Um, we have a couple returning players from last year, Emily Krulak, Daniela Mangiapane, to name a few. Um, Peyton Carl back in goal, Talia Mezzatesta up on the front. Um, we have a couple key players that are new to the program, or at least new for the program for me, as well as me being the new coach this year as well. Um, we have a lot of strengths, and I think we're going to have a good season. This year's captains include Danielle Mangiapane, Haley Swaldi, Aaron Bosler, Brooke Bernini, and Emily Olszewski. So far, they've played one game against South Williamsport and lost 3-1. to one. But Danielle Mangiapane scored the Red Tornado's single goal during the away season opener. Their first home match is tonight against Hughesville. Come out and support the Lady Red Tornadoes as they kick off a new season with new coaches and a new team. Good luck, ladies. What would coming back to school and fall be without football and Friday night lights? But there's another special group that works really hard preparing for Friday night football, and that's the MCA cheerleaders. The cheerleaders put in many hours behind the scenes, and they do it all from making spirit pins, learning difficult dance routines, and decorating players' houses. This year's cheer squad is special as they have been together a while and have truly become a family. They have been practicing since the end of the spring and woke up early, early for cheer camp on summer mornings. Today's news anchor Nick Troutman spoke to two of our 2018-2019 cheer captains. All right, we're here with two captains in the Mount Carmel area cheerleading team to ask them a few questions about this season. Uh, first question I have for you guys is, what's one important quality of the cheerleader? Um, I would say that the most important quality for a cheerleader is to have spirit and just love your school and always spread positivity. And then, is there anything, I know you put a lot of hard work in during the summer and all, is there anything in particular that comes into preparing for the season? Yes, during the summer we practice every Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays in the morning. And we have this NCA camp that's three days and six hours long prepared for. And we just put a lot of work into it. It's a lot of fun. How, does, how would cheerleading compare to playing other sports? Um, I don't think it really compares. I think it's the same. We put in as much work as any other sports team does. So I don't it's think a lot it's of memor different. Yeah, it's a lot of memorization. And like, I mean, it's just like you guys with plays or like. And it is physical. We're always jumping yeah. around. And it's, it's not, it doesn't, it looks easy, but it's not. <laughs> Uh, I know you put a lot of work on all spirit pins and signs and all. What, uh, like, how long does that take, or how do you make them? So over the summer we color spirit pins, and we get them in May right away before the school ends, and we color them throughout the summer and the next school year. And I take a lot of time and work, and I'm very proud of them. And for the posters, we do that like a week before school to get the gym ready for rallies. Thanks to Allison and Danielle for taking the time to talk with MCA Live. Cheerleading coach Miss Lias said. To be a great cheerleader, you need more than just skills. Cheerleaders need to be dedicated, good role models, and have pride in themselves and their school. We are fortunate enough that our cheerleaders have it all. Keep up the good work, girls. Last night's score, cross country traveled to Shikalimi and ran in the heavy rain, but we have no results at this time. Our Lady of Lords boys soccer team traveled to Tri-Valley and won two to one. Our Lady of Lords volleyball team traveled to Pine Grove and lost three to zero. Tonight in sports, Varsity Girls Soccer hosts Hughesville starting at 4.30 p.m. Our Lady of Lords Golf hosts Jim Thorpe starting at 2. And that's all we got on sports. Back to Nick at the news desk. Thanks, Elijah. The new school year brings a lot of new fresh ideas in the cafe. Entrees on display, the Nutrition Inc. app, which tells us what's for lunch today, and one of the freshest ideas, a brand new lunch special never seen before. Here's reporter Colin Herb with the scoop. Or do you eat score lunch here? Uh, on occasion I do, when I don't have anything in the fridge really, or maybe it looks in, like on the verge of turning in the fridge, right, you know what right. I'm talking about when it's yeah. been in the back, but yeah, yeah that's what it's I like tend that to. that weird container with a little bit of mold in it. Uh, you just scrape that off, don't exactly, me, but, right. so, but on days that I can't do the scrapage, it's too far gone, then right. I'll eat here. So for school lunch, there's a thing called a gyro or gyro, and it's an age-old question that we're trying to figure out, so how do you say it? I've heard it called a gyro. 
That's G- why that, or that's, Giro. Or that's he- why I call it. Or what's a hero? I've heard of a hero. A hero is a sub. Oh, all right. Well, it's definitely that's that's sub. Not. No, I'd have to say a gyro. That's what I say too. It's all right. So you know, you're a food connoisseur, aren't you? You like food. Yeah. Yeah. You go to Bloomsburg Fair all the time, right? Yeah. So you know the little lamb things that they chop off, and like they like, wrap it with the weird sauce. Yeah. Okay. How do you say that? Let me let me Google it. No, no, you can't Google it. Like, it's, how do you say it? Gyro. Gyro. That, that's, see, that's what I think it is. Gyro. Yeah, it's like a coal region thing. Gyro. Gyro, yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. Shane, so, like, we, we went on a lot of adventures before. Like, you know, traveling places, eating food, doing all that stuff, goofing off. You know the little sandwich, like, with the, with the pita on it, and you slice the lamb, and, but it's, like, on a big, like, spinny thing? And yeah. And you slice it? Yeah. yeah. How do you call that sandwich? Like, what do you call it? A gyro. Exactly, right? It's yeah. a gyro. Yeah. That's so you, you like the Bloomsburg Fair, don't you? We all like the Bloomsburg Fair. Yeah, of Fair. course. I love it. <laughs> exactly. So you know that one stand, you know, it's, it's called John the Greeks, right? Yeah, sure. With the, with the weird sandwich and the, the meat that, like, is on the big pole and it spins around, right, and the white sauce on it? Yeah. What do you call that sandwich? A gyro. <laughs> exactly. It's a gyro. That, that's what I, everyone's been saying it's gyro. I agree. Don't worry, because there are no wrong answers. The official pronunciation is like the European money euro, but since this is America, we've adapted to sound the state award how we like it. Gyros will, be made, will make their de- debut in the cap today. For the people that do not know, gyros are a special type of Greek sandwich. The meat is usually lamb that is slow roasted and sliced vertically, then served on a pita type bread. The sandwich is served with a special sauce called tzatziki sauce and is typically branded with gyros. This new item is definitely a mouth-watering addition to the lunch menu for the new school year. And for today's lunch, beef gyro lettuce, tomato and sauce, green beans, cinnamon apple slices, and choice of milk. And for tomorrow's breakfast, Dutch waffle, whole grain cereal with toast, assorted bagels, chilled juice or fruit, and low-fat milk. That's all we have for today. Good luck to our girls' soccer. And our boys' soccer. And tune in to WKMC-TV. For the Wednesday night football broadcast. See you tomorrow, MCA.